Week two of the NFL season sees the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Atlanta Falcons here in a big primetime game. Dwayne Haskins had an excellent week one, and he's looking to continue that here against the Falcons in the throwbacks with the red helmets. Matt Ryan had a good week one himself, three touchdown passes. Here they are trying one here for Javion Hawkins. Now Hawkins here on third and inches, and he gets meet by Schobert and TJ Watt. And they shut that one down, so a Falcons punt would give the ball back to the Steelers here. Here's Najee Harris, missed week one with a wrist injury back for week two. So now third and two, Haskins hit as he throws. Going to find the rookie quarterback, Max Rush. And that's going to be a first down. That looked pretty close, actually. So now a second and ten. Haskins looking. Look at that. Fits that one in right to Pat Fryermuth. I don't know if he's going to have three touchdowns in this one. Probably still going to have a pretty good game. So now Najee Harris runs one man over. And then he gets brought down right after he picks up the first down. 19 yards already on the day for him. So now third and three. Haskins looking, going to find Fryermuth again, who fumbles the football after trying the stiff arm. And there is the first, I believe, turnover of the season for the Steelers. So here's Javion Hawkins again, going to get shoved all the way back. That's going to be a big loss. Jason Verrett also goes down on the play. I believe you saw him getting blocked. Got shoved to the ground, and here is Danny Shelton with a big play right there and right now this falcons drive they've run two running plays and they've lost six yards somehow so now third and 16 down goes matt ryan alex highsmith new edge rusher we're well, not new but he's going to be needed and then there's broken ribs for everett or verrett and that's just disappointing to see. He's going to miss a couple weeks. So now Haskins going to have to do his job in the offensive end. Going to find Deontay Johnson who holds on to the football. So now here they come back again. First and 10. Haskins looking. Going to find Juju Smith-Schuster. Going to pick up some nice yardage right there. Now third and three. Going to be a handoff here to Najee Harris. Runs over one man again. Number 16. He's just getting abused here today. Now goal to go. Third and goal now. Quick throw right there. Max Rush. Touchdown Steelers. They take the lead here. And this rookie is having a very nice season so far. What an addition he's been. So now here's Matt Ryan throwing off his back foot. He's going up here. J.C. Jackson. Going to pick that one off. J.C. Jackson with his first interception as a Pittsburgh Steeler. Matt Ryan, he threw this one off his back foot. Felt the pressure from Shelton and Watt. And he just lofts this one up. And that one's going to get picked off. So now first and ten. Haskins going for it all here. And it's Juju Smith-Schuster coming down with the big play. Down at the 21. And now they're already in scoring position. Third and four. Haskins, that's almost picked off. I believe that was Deion Jones with that one. Fourth and four Steelers, they're going to go for it. Play action, look here, Haskins. He's not looking for the first down. He's looking for a touchdown, and he gets it. Juju Smith-Schuster, touchdown Steelers. And just a really nice throw from Haskins. Put that ball just right out in front of Schuster. I don't know if he got that second foot down. Now a third and five. Still the second quarter. And Kyle Pitts going to get knocked backwards. They're going to say, I, I, I'm almost positive that was a first down. But fourth and one. They didn't challenge it. And Danny Shelton again with another play up the middle. Shutting down the run has been Danny Shelton as he gets in the face with a Falcons player. First and ten now. Haskins throws this one off his back foot, but Juju Smith-Schuster able to come down with it and kind of, you know, bail him out on that one. Really great play by Juju Smith-Schuster, though. So now first and 10, Haskins going to find Najee Harris. He runs over someone again. That's number 32. At least it's not number 16 getting ran over. So now a third and one handoff here to Najee Harris. Fights forward for a few yards, but... 
There's going to be a penalty on the play here. What's this going to be? It's going to be a hold. And that is going to be on Trey Turner. So now that one. Third and nine. Shotgun formation. Quick throw here. Smith Schuster can't get the football. That one's just a little bit out in front of him. Now another penalty flag. And this one is going to be roughing the passer on the Falcons. John Kaminsky with the penalty. So now first and goal. Haskins steps back. Navigates the pocket. Going to find Max Rush again. The rookie with his second receiving touchdown of the game. And this one's starting to get out of hand a little bit now. Gets those feet set after he catches the football. So now two minutes to go. Matt Ryan on the run. It's Danny Shelton with a sack. Caused the fumble. Falcons able to recover. So now Matt Ryan again going to find Javion Hawkins. A lot of Javion Hawkins in this game by the Falcons. I question that as Ryan's just going to get smacked right there by Stephon Tuitt. I question that when you have the weapons like Kyle Pitts and Calvin Ridley on this team. I question basing so much of your offense on your okay running back. It just doesn't make a lot of sense as uh, Matt Ryan getting just beat up here so far in this game. So now 57 seconds left to go. Can they, can the Steelers score here? Big play. Max Rush broke one tackle, gets shoved out of bounds. And now the Steelers looking good here. 50 seconds left. Haskins drops back and have dropped this one into Max Rush again. So at the very least, they're definitely in field goal range, but they don't want field goals here. And Haskins. Oh, almost got sacked there. Breaks one tackle. Takes off for the run. That's only going to gain two yards, but a sack there would have not been good. So now Haskins going to go for it all here. Juju comes down with the football. There's a flag on the play. Let's see what this is. Is this going to be offensive pass interference? It looks like the defense, they seem happy. And then, no, it's defensive pass interference. Bobby McCain with the, with the penalty right there. Falcons coach cannot believe it. Result of the play is a touchdown. 28 zip right now. Now Haskins going to find Chase Claypool. Tries making a man miss. Gets brought down right at the 50. So now at the 44. Going to find Fryermuth right there. Well in the Falcons territory now. Are the Steelers. So now second and four. Haskins looking. Throws this one up. Juju comes down with it again. Another touchdown for him. Haskins found the hole in the zone defense. There might have been two guys right there. I don't think he got that second foot down. But no, they reviewed it and said it's all good. So here comes Kyle Pitts now breaking some tackles. He's at the four. Now third and one. Ryan looking. Going to find Pitts into the end zone he goes. He is such a mismatch you think. He'd be a bigger part of the offense. So now second and 22. Three minutes left to go in this game. Uh, Juju, or not Juju. Max Rush again. His third of the game. Haskins finding him there. Just wide open. Outran the entire defense with his speed. That's not too hard to believe. I, they, you got to account for him here. So 55 seconds left. Play action look. Double move by Juju on the outside. That gets him free. Into the end zone he goes. A touchdown that is just very disrespectful to the Falcons. No mercy for the all Madden CPU. And Juju just had his man cooked. And just nothing they could do about it. So another touchdown. And that will be your final here in this one. Here it is. Seven seconds left. And here is Cam Sutton with the interception. And this one is going to be over. Cameron Sutton getting the interception as the Falcons are going to drop this one here. 49-7 to is your final in this one. As the Pittsburgh Steelers improved to 2-0 on the season. The Atlanta Falcons going to fall to 1-1 one one here as they lose this one. 49-7, to seven, Dwayne Haskins, 25-35, 470 yards, 7 touchdown passes. Najee Harris, 26 carries, 114 yards. Juju Smith-Schuster, 
Seven receptions, 214 yards, four touchdowns. Max Rush, six receptions, 101 yards, and three touchdowns. Matt Ryan, 14-19, 197 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Javion Hawkins, 15 carries, then five receptions. Very strange to go to Javion Hawkins so much. Cal Pitts had the lone touchdown for the Falcons on this one, and Calvin Ridley only saw three targets all day. He caught them all. Maybe they should have went to him a little bit more in this game maybe would help them a bit hey so that was a very good game for us 15 staff points in the bag Dwayne Haskins seven touchdown passes on the day for him and we are going to uh strong arm upgrade just keep getting that up awareness and throw into pressure so Jason Verrett broken ribs he's going to be out for a little bit but there's still some things in the secondary that I don't particularly like. And we're going to address that here after we uh, talk to Deontay Johnson a little bit. And uh, he was really impressed with Juju just going off. And I would be impressed too if I was a teammate of his. And uh, yeah, I mean, Deontay, I mean, this receiving core is just uh, amazing. I think that just the addition of Max Rush as well. Uh, gives us something pretty nice, almost Jordy Nelson-esque, I think. He could definitely be that, as we just have a phone uh, zooming around. Casper the Ghost is in the, is, is in the Steelers' locker rooms. Um, yeah, so Juju Smith-Schuster gets some more XP for helping a teammate, and got to get Deontay Johnson 150-plus yards to help him achieve his goal. So I don't know if I don't I don't know what that means. I don't know if, is that like a dev trade opportunity? Does he uh, get I mean because he would be a superstar X factor at that point and uh, beat beat the Panthers rack up 300 passing yards upgrade here for Cam Robinson gonna go with pass protector just keep getting him better at that I think and uh, that's an okay upgrade I suppose 26 years old uh, Michael Wheeler. Uh, who is now currently our starting right tackle. I decided to start him. Saw some things out of uh, the other guy that I just didn't really like. So, uh, Wheeler, going to get the start here for a little bit here. Wanted to see what that dev trade is for him as well as we're trying to get that pass blocking up for him. He's held up pretty well. Alex Highsmith has been very nice for us. He has stayed, rel he's stayed healthy, which is very good. So, coming off the edge, he has done a very good job replacing melvin ingram and tone brooks just a really nice player that plays on some of our sub packages so enjoy having him around as well so once again here are the you know contract the outside deontay johnson is there uh devin bush is in here so definitely a lot of it's not too serious but we're gonna wait here on some of these names but yeah, Minka Fitzpatrick, I'm not sure about, uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be re-signed. First little bit of scouting we're going to do here. We're going to definitely look at some free safeties. Um, sort of just seeing lots of run support, things like that are, seem to be the best free safeties. Um, Jack Barth looks pretty good. Aaron Gibson looks pretty good. So, uh, yeah, not a great safety class, but... I just don't feel like, maybe this is just me, I just don't feel like Minka makes as many, I'm not seeing as many big plays from Fitzpatrick as I would like to see. It doesn't impact the game to uh, afford that much of a contract. So, uh, John Vey Johnson, Jave, I'm not sure how you would pronounce that. He's going to get released, and uh, we are going to make a move here. We're gonna make a trade and we're looking around for other cornerbacks and we have some cap room so we could definitely bring in some guys that you know have contracts that are somewhat big and the buccaneers probably wouldn't trade anyone here and just looking through here byron murphy but he's still young sante samuel jr is really good the chiefs definitely wouldn't give us a piece uh rocky Sen would be interesting but once again just don't think it would happen. Uh, Trevon Diggs is a guy I really like. And, uh, and once again, some of these contracts are just way too big. We'd have to send another player back um, to a lot of these teams if we wanted to make a move. So we're not doing that. Football team. 
I don't think they'd be trading any of their guys either. Rasul Douglas. So we're just looking through here, trying to find something that would be really nice. And we do settle on a guy who was recently traded, I believe in real life, one CJ Henderson. And this is a player I like, I think would really just give us even more depth. And we're going to try a third round pick here. And uh, we are close. We are really close. I believe he was just traded to the Carolina Panthers in real life. So let's try a third in this upcoming year's draft and a fifth in the 2024 draft for C.J. Henderson. And that trade is accepted. So we acquire C.J. Henderson. And I think that is just a really super move for us. Even when Jason Verrett comes back, uh, you know, I think we are just really going to have a very, very good uh, cornerback room now. I think one of the best in the league here with CJ Henderson. He's still really young, only in his third year, 23 years old, has, you know, still a lot of room to grow as a player. And I really like this move. I think it sort of solidifies that cornerback room now with JC Jackson and CJ Henderson now. I think that just really is a. Uh, you know, going to make things pretty tough on teams allows me to play a little bit more man defense because like I said, zones are just toast in this game. Um, every time the Falcons had any sort of success in the game, it, it was when I ran like a cover three. So I don't know what they did with the cover three because it seems like the uh, pink purple zone would just take off when the other zone already had the guy covered and they would just leave the flats open constantly. So that was like really annoying. So Either way, I want to thank you guys for watching this game. Next episode, we're going to be taking on the Carolina Panthers, at, who are at 2 or 0 oh 2. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.